Hey everybody, Brett from Astartes Gaming here, back with another episode of our Clash of Kings mod Let's Play. So, we are currently besieging Gold Town right now, and we're charging the walls as I speak. And so, um, today we're going to try to conquer as much of the remaining parts of the Vale as we possibly can. Uh, outside of this particular siege, there are two more remaining. We've also come under siege at Fair Market, so we may need to ride over there to help defend it. Uh, but we'll see how that plays out. I'm going to get my shield up here so I don't get shot in the back. We have virtually all of the north, the riverlands, and the vale um, assisting us here. So we have no shortage of men. I think we're deploying several thousand. Uh, I didn't count, but it is quite a lot. I can't really get inside here. I'm getting pushed off the ladder. Come on, men, let your king through. Ah, oh, great. <laughs> uh, I'm stuck. Let's see. Um... Nope. Okay. Damn it. Who pushed me? Who pushed the king? Oh, I better not be stuck here. Alright. Um... Well, this is unfortunate. Okay, at least I can get out. Alright, I'm playing catch-up here. Uh, I spent most of the battle so far trying to get up the ladder. And it looks like my men have already taken most of the castle. I know that there's a large group of our men over there fighting. You can see them up on the uh, ramparts. And then there's a large contingent of our men over here uh, rushing these walls and what defenders remain in them. I'm going to move my archers up to, let's say, here. It looks like the enemy's going to get some reinforcements. I'll contribute however I can, but I do need to make sure that I don't die. That's, you know, priority number one. But if I hang back and just kind of stab at them with my Valyrian Steel Sword, I think I'll be alright. This thing is incredibly effective. And, uh, we've seen it right there. Alright, I don't want to be the first one through the breach here. I don't mind going second, but I don't want to be the first one to eat a arrow. Okay. Let's see. Oh, we got people coming from over here. Down you go. Oh, come on, I ran him through. Give me a break. I'm having a hard time maneuvering around my own men here. Archers, can I get some support in here? If you guys could fire into them point blank, I think that'd be pretty effective. Ah. There we go. And, oh, I'm getting shot, I'm getting shot. No, get back, get back. Oh god. Alright, let's stay away from those longbows. Is there anybody over here? Okay, good. I'll have to stay out of the way then. Alright, we're giving this another go. I didn't want to have to just sit around with no health, doing nothing while my men, you know, did all the fighting. So, I decided to back out and redeploy. And in the time it took us to set up the ladders, I was able to gain a little bit of health back. We're going to have the archers set up right about here. And I would prefer it if the cavalry went in first. Infantry, I need you to hold back. And I don't know how many of my pikemen are in here, but you guys are welcome to do whatever you need to do. Yeah, I want, the, I want the heavy knights and stuff to go first. They should be uh, more effective at punching through the initial defenses. And then once they've established a foothold, we'll send the infantry in. It looks like our longbows are getting some kills as well. And they're still getting pretty bunched up there. Hey, archers, there's, uh, there's guys over there too. I don't think they're going to turn and fire. Oh, somebody's finally shooting over there. Oh, nice. Uh, he didn't He didn't die from the fall, though. Uh, but somebody got him. Somebody got him. You guys are not pushing fast enough. They're still fighting right at the breach. That's not a good sign. Alright, now that all the cavalry seems to be making their way up the ladder, I'm going to tell the infantry to go ahead and join them. 
Yeah, there you go. There you go. Get up that ladder. Uh, it looks like we're kind of running amok up there. I think we have broken through their defenses to the point where it's just like random archers standing up there. We'll see. We'll see. I know that they still had a good amount of men left. Uh, we backed out pretty early again. I did not want to risk a... A, uh, what, seventh and final wound. Okay, finally in the walls. Gonna set the archers up right here. And... I have a lot of men fighting in a lot of different places. That's always kind of a concern. If they spread you out, they can take you down a lot easier. I'm going to join this fight over here. Because I know that the enemy is deploying from that door. That's where they came from last time. So we want to kind of hold that spot. If we can get a bunch of men set up right there and force them into a choke point, that would be ideal. Although, again, with our men kind of scattered, it's going to be hard to accomplish that. Can I get the archers down here? I think they'll be a little bit more effective in that spot. And you guys are still fighting up there, aren't you? So I can't exactly give these guys... Uh, I could... Let's see. Um, I always forget what key it is. Yeah, let's do that. Everybody hold here. <clears throat> So if you don't know what I did there, um, there's a there's a button where you can command just the soldiers in your immediate vicinity. And I used it to tell these guys to stop right here so that we're not charging through this. Oh, I fell. But yeah, the idea is we don't want to be rushing into that breach half strength. So once everybody else comes to join us, which it looks like they are, there's all our archers. Here's uh, the rest of our infantry and cavalry. We'll go ahead and charge on through. Wow, there is a lot less of you guys than I was hoping for. Alright, well, infantry go, cavalry go, pikes go. Whoever's here, go ahead and charge in. Archers, I'd love to get you up there, but I don't know how we'd even go about that. There might be a way up and around, but honestly, I think it's going to be too much work. If you could just snipe the uh, archers up there for me, that would be great. I can't see what I'm doing. Oh, almost. I actually did some damage. And he's definitely targeting me. God, that was so close. Alright. Let's help out over here where we have a little bit more of a chance to actually contribute. Let's see if I can fit this through. Oh, headshot. Uh, we're getting pushed back here. That's kind of surprising. We'll see if we get any reinforcements. Um, you guys are blocking me there, Mr. Manderly. Uh, well, this is all I can really do right now. I can't exactly take all those guys on by myself. But if they decide to, uh, or if they make it through, and you know, charge this way, my archers should be able to just light them up. All right. And my sword's just clipping right through them. Come on, overhand swings. Overhand swings. Let's not take too much damage here. Uh, I hate the way they can lock you up just by standing in front of you in this game. I hope that's not a thing in Bannerlord. It's really frustrating fighting in close quarters in this game sometimes, just because you basically just get kind of stuck. And you can't do anything. Um, let's see. That's where, like, half-sorting would be really effective, because then you could choke up on the sword and even use the, the blunt end of it as a weapon, but anything rather than just, you know, sitting there taking half-handed swings that do nothing. Alright, can we push through? Let's push through. Uh, I wish it was a better place to set our archers up. I guess we can do it here. I don't know that they're going to be of much use, because this is uh, pretty pretty tight corridors. Well, not corridors, but pretty, uh, you know, tight spaces that we're dealing with here. Who is hitting me? Did you shoot me in the back? Assholes. Unless I got shot in the front through all these enemies, but I... I didn't see an arrow coming at me. It 
it looked like I got shot in the back. Oh, somebody else got him. Okay, can we push up? A bunch of my men went off that way. I don't know where or why. Ooh, he was targeting me. I'm going to make sure these guys don't continue to shoot at me. Okay. <laughs> the game just, like, crapped itself right there. Not sure why. I think it's the mod, to be honest. Um, I have noticed the performance steadily declining the more and more I mess with it. And it seems like it's just kind of finally given up. Come back here. Uh, this looks like a losing battle. Let's pull back. Oh, there's some reinforcements. Finally. Archers, can you set up in here where you might actually be able to help? Oh, sorry, dude. Took the one guy on my side and I almost clipped him. Let's see how much damage I can do with a running shot on that. Well, good enough to kill somebody. Well, I just got to be very careful about all those longbows back there. Because one unlucky shot could put me down. Or, I guess, lucky. Lucky for them, unlucky for me. Um, is there a way around? If we could flank them, that would be pretty nice. Uh, maybe we can. Maybe we can. Yep. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, crap. All right, archers, I need you out here. And I don't know... Ah, uh, crap. You know what? It should be fine. I think all their infantry is going to push where my infantry is fighting them. So if I set the archers up here, I don't think anybody will charge them unless all of our infantry has been dealt with. Oh, okay. Apparently you guys are fighting in hand-to-hand -hand combat. All right, well, we're pushing through. Let's oversee this, because if uh, things get a little too out of hand, I'll need to recall these archers. But this should really... <clears throat> excuse me, this should really help. Because they have no defenses over here. Oh, okay. Uh, we're, we're coming at them from both sides, so I think this is pretty much over. And, let's see. Oh, you're down. And there's our victory, great. That went pretty well, I think. I mean, I didn't die. It's always, it's always a good time. So only one of our men died. Allied casualties were it looks like uh, 30. That's not too bad. And then how about enemy? 215. So 31 dead for us. 215 dead for them. That's basically seven seven kills for every one of our deaths. I'll definitely take that any day. And I had 31 kills myself. Not too shabby. All right, so we rescued a few prisoners here, some clansmen. I'll take them. I can always throw them in a garrison. I'll take the looter as well, and I don't need any peasants. All right, so I'm going to defer appointment here, as I normally do, but I will probably end up giving this to myself. I could certainly use the income. Let's see. Do we plunder it? Um, No, no, no. No, we won't. We are trying to, you know, peacefully rule over the veil vale after all, not conquer it. They came to us. We weren't trying to steamroll them. I will go to the marketplace, though, and buy some food, because we could certainly use it. Are you healed? Oh, you are healed. Fantastic. Uh, let's make that happen, then. And, yeah, we are very low. We're also very low on money. Um, we'll, we'll take whatever you've got. I can afford food, at least. And, let's see. What's happening in the tavern here? Some levees, and... That appears to be about it. Some northerners drinking on the job, it looks like. Alright. So, let's leave. That should be everything except for... Uh, the Eerie, and the Gates of the Moon, which are the gates that lead up to the Eerie. 
So we've got them pretty much cornered at this point. They've had to fall back to the highest point in the Vale. Very defensible, but they're kind of trapped there. Although we need to ride the fair market right now because it is under siege. I don't know how many men uh, the Lannisters have there, but I know that they are there. So we're going to want to do something about that. It looks like they are just raiding that whole area. Oh, that bastard Benfred Tallhart, the traitor. We'll go do something about it. And then we'll uh, return to, I guess, take the gates of the moon. And then we'll kind of just march our way up the uh, mountain here until they have nowhere, le nowhere uh, left to go. Oh, what's happening? Oh, um, Sir Raynard Rudiger. You know what? I recall that you might have been an honorable lord. Let's try to, uh... Well, first of all, let's just kind of wait and see how this plays out. I don't want to have to get involved. I'd like to recruit him, though, if I could. Oh, well, I think my men are piling in on that. Alright, in that case, let's just keep moving. So we'll land at Maidenpool and then ride uh, northwest. A lot of our places are getting hit. Man, all these villages... Were those... I don't recall those being all raided as we went by. But I wasn't paying very good attention. Oh man, there's a lot of uh, Westerlands lords just kind of all over the place here. Alright, so we've made it in time. There's quite a few people here. I don't remember what the garrison looked like, but I think our men will be enough to offset this. We've got nearly 400, so adding ourselves to the defenders should be um, I think enough to turn the tide let's go ahead and join the battle actually I'm gonna change commanders here I think that uh, we'll have Rook kinda of stay back and oversee the defenses and Garrett Longley is going to lead the troops from the front because uh, his bow will be more effective up on the walls than Rook's sword will so we'll go with that Oh, okay. The enemy has been forced to retreat. Apparently, uh... Oh, wait, what? I wanted to join the battle. Garrett Longley. And it just keeps saying they've been forced to retreat. Um, I guess we'll have to do it with Rook then. Alright, so here comes the enemy. We'll do everything we can to hold them here. This is going to be rough. This is going to be real rough. I can't even get a hit in. Let's see. Get some random Dothraki hanging out here. Looks like uh, Sir Royman Corbray is up in the front. Uh, wrecking people with his two-handed mace. There's the queen. I can hear her, her uh, shouting, but she's not actually doing much. Let's see. Let's just rain some axes on these guys. I can't tell if I'm hitting anything. I did some damage, but I don't think I killed anybody. Maybe I can uh, sneak this through? That didn't look like it. Well, the archers are really carrying us here. I haven't had to do much. And uh, the enemy has never made it up even to the top of the ladder. We've got them bogged down um, most, most of the way up. There's a couple people of ours on the ladder. And we seem to be holding them there. Our archers are just raining absolute death on them, especially these guys that are firing into the side of the enemy as they go up the ladder. We're getting a ton of kills from our archers, as you can see by the kill feed there. And as long as we are able to hold the enemy here, I think we'll be just fine. Um, our numbers are steadily declining, but we haven't needed reinforcements yet, so we're doing pretty well. I'm just worried that by the time we finally need reinforcements, they're going to make a, a strong push and we're going to have to, you know, really, really force them back. If, if we let them in the walls, it could get really ugly. So I'm going to do my best to uh, prevent that. And uh, I seem to be doing a little bit better than my men, since my sword is... Uh, Pretty much a one-hit kill, especially at this angle, when I'm coming down on people's heads with it. 
Oh, this Unsullied's getting in my way. Alright, so... Um... I'm kind of getting overtaken by my men here, which I guess is a good sign. It means that we have plenty of infantry and cavalry joining the fight. Um, I don't want to fall down there. If you guys could stop pushing me, it'd be great. Alright, well, I'm stuck. I am stuck. But anyways, uh, we continue to get a ton of kills from our archers. Uh, of course, they keep getting replenished on ammo because they... Uh, are defenders, and defenders get unlimited ammo. Please let me back up. Oh, there we go. I almost made it. Almost. Well, this is a, a better spot than I was in previously, so... If I could just get off of the ladder and behind something, that'd be great. There it is. Alright. I got quite a few kills there, but uh, I was, you know, slowly getting chipped away at. So, gonna gonna give Rook a little rest here. But we, we held the line until we got reinforcements, and the reinforcements seemed to be doing their job. Archers continued to rain death on the enemy. And if you look at their army, it's slowly getting lower and lower in quality. Before we were seeing a lot of knights and men-at-arms, now we're seeing uh, less of each. We're even seeing some people in light armor, although there is still the occasional heavy men-at-arms and, uh, and knights. So they still do have quite a few men, but quite a lot fewer than they did at the start. <laughs> in fact, if we look at the uh, kill feed here, we've lost 6, our allies have lost 20, the enemy's lost 352, so we're doing pretty damn well, I'd say. Alright, so the enemy has somehow made a push here. We had plenty of men, I don't know why they suddenly just sort of backed off and let the enemy through, but they did. Uh, and then apparently we got some reinforcements and just absolutely swarmed them. But we're holding, we're holding, just, it looked like we might not for a second. I've picked up a pike. And I've been trying to kind of contribute by stabbing from a distance, wherever I can. I've gotten a few kills this way, but it's it's kind of hard. Oh, I got one there. I don't know how I threaded that needle, but... Um, yeah, just, you know, one more spear point for the enemy to watch out for, I guess. And there we go. There's a victory. Wow. Wow. Wow, indeed. All right. So, uh, our casualties, what are we looking at? 11 dead, 30 wounded. That's not too bad. Uh, four of which were unsullied. Honestly, I don't care what happens to them. Allied casualties, 21 and 18. So we actually took the brunt of that, but we did... Well, no, no, we didn't. They still did. But we, we did deploy, I think, the majority of that force. The garrison was pretty under strength. Enemy casualties were, I imagine, quite a bit worse. Yeah, 490 dead, 25 wounded. Um, I was only able to get 27 kills there. Uh, again, most of the time I was just standing back with the pike. And this time the enemy actually is forced to retreat. I could certainly use some food if you guys have any. Ooh, chicken. Yeah, let's grab that. We'll take uh, the bread and all this junk as well. We gotta feed our guys. Okay. I haven't gotten loot in forever. I can't remember the last time I got some loot. Let's see. So, there are still a bunch of enemies around here. You have quite a few prisoners there. And you don't have anybody to prevent me from defeating you. Well, well, well. Benford Tallheart. Oh, okay. Apparently, uh, everybody in that area joined the battle. I guess that's sort of to be expected. We do outnumber them, though. So, we are going to fight this. Um, I guess I'll just have to kind of cut everything down really short here, because I imagine we're already out of time. But, uh, we're already here, so let's do this. Right, so, we've got a nice little deployment here. I am going to set my archers up on this little hill. Get them a nice elevated position, and then we'll have the infantry at the base, and the pikemen can set up right about here. Oh, good thing I turned around. Um, cavalry, stay over here, please. Don't go after them. Oh, that that was our cavalry. I didn't see the symbols over all their heads. Uh, you know what? Let's let's get our cavalry over here. I think that's a better spot because they're going to come from this side. Oh, they don't have any cavalry. That's going to make this real interesting. God, stupid cavalry. 
running through the archers. Alright, well, I've got quite a few pikes here, so the pikes should be able to hold the line. Um, by the way, my retinue should be with me, wherever they are, if they're in fighting shape. Let's see, we're getting a couple kills from our archers. Let's start getting the cavalry moving. I'm going to deploy them out here. The idea being uh, we want to hit their archers from behind while the uh, infantry throws themselves against the pikes. Uh, we pulled them a little too early. Go ahead and charge. Infantry, um, go ahead and charge as well. Come on, cavalry. Flank them from behind. We will need to uh, rein our men in because they are they are deploying something like 250 soldiers, and so they will get reinforcements, and we will need to. Um, God, that wasn't even close. We will need to make sure that we're not caught out of position when the reinforcements come. Oh, give me a break. 17 damage, that was pretty weak. Don't let him get away. Oh, you guys. Wait, 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 no. What are you guys doing? Cavalry, come back. Alright, uh, I didn't send the pikes to charge, that's good. Infantry, come back as well. Uh, oh, they have a couple of mounted guys, or are those all ours? Oh, nope. They were not. Or, excuse me, they are. Sorry. They were not enemy cavalry, is what I was trying to say there. My cavalry is set up on the hill. Infantry, get back behind the pikemen. And we'll do this once more. Alright, I'm going to go harass them a little bit here. See if I can thin their ranks before they get to my men. Oh, come on. I hit that guy clean. There we go. Just don't let them take the horse out. Um, can I get my cavalry over here? Let's see. I'll line this guy up. Oh, give me a break. Um, infantry, go ahead and charge. Since they're right in front of you guys. Oop. <laughs> Killed the guy with my horse. Didn't even hit him with the sword. Trampled him to death. Uh, oh. He slowed down. There we go. There we go. Alright, let's steal cavalry. Keep moving. Let's deal with these guys. Oh, sorry. Oh, I, I killed him too. Apparently this horse hits like a truck. Damn it. He's still down. Um, take these guys out real quick, and then we need to get back into formation. Okay, cavalry retreat. Infantry retreat. Let the, uh, let the archers soften them up. Infantry, get back to here. Cavalry, I need you, like, there. Go on. I'll, uh, I'll deal with these guys. Longbows are getting kills, that's good. That's what we like to see. This thing does not maneuver very well. Oh, you tricky bastard. There we go. God, that infantry is taking their sweet time getting back into position. Make them make them charge the pikes. Cavalry deploy over here. We're gonna get you behind the behind the archers. Alright, infantry go, cavalry go. Uh, there, it, there it is. Let's try to get an angle on them. Ah, damn. Don't you do it. Oh, you should have ran. Should have ran. Ah, uh, crap. And let's see. Did we get everybody? They're chasing somebody over there. Nope, nope, okay. Well, fall back. Fall back. Same as before. Don't let them catch us out of position. That's how we lose battles. Okay, let's get the cavalry over there to deal with those archers. And infantry, go ahead and uh, envelop them. Cavalry, you can charge. And you should just steamroll those guys. Yeah, that went pretty well. 
That went pretty well. Let's um let's come in here and help out. And there we have it. Are they gonna get more reinforcements or is that about it? Uh, they still have more men coming. So we won't want to get too far. Infantry stay here, you're not gonna catch up. We'll let the cavalry clean up over there. One would hope that they can handle that without my micromanagement. But we are talking about AI here. Alright. Alright, here they come. Let's see. Cavalry, start start charging out. That's all the infantry they've got. Everything else is archers. So cavalry, you're welcome to charge. We'll let these guys engage. And then infantry, go. Pikemen, you guys uh, hold the line. They've still got more coming. This is going to be a long battle. Damn it. Ah. Alright. If you're going to make me run you down. And one more. There we go. Okay. Infantry. You guys know where you need to be. Cavalry, please come back. Alright, I've gotten bored of the... Uh, Holding back in defense, they also took my horse out, so we're going after them now. Uh, they're deploying mostly peasants, so I'm not too concerned about this. I'm hoping that the infantry can get here pretty quickly, but you know what, everybody just go ahead and charge. I don't think they'll pose too much of a threat to us. Get back here. Really? I'm like right under his arm. Both of those. Whatever. Uh, oh, sorry, horse. They're actually pretty effective at uh, taking horses down. Those damn pitchforks. Alright, well, that's that. Let's keep pushing. I don't think they're going to be able to deploy anything uh, more threatening than that. Although, they, they do still have some longbows, which can be deadly when they're not getting, you know, smacked in the face. But, uh, seeing as how that's pretty much exactly what's happening to them right now... I don't think they're going to be too much of a threat. In fact, the uh, the peasants seem to put up a better fight. There we go. There's our victory. Any day now. There it is. Okay, so three dead. Uh, two of which were unsullied. We also lost uh, one of our cavalry. Enemy casualties were significantly worse. 216. Benfred manages to escape. But it looks like we'll be capturing some uh, Westerlands lords. Uh, since he's so honorable, I'm going to let him go. What about you? You are not, so you can be my prisoner. Looks like everybody else is going to get away. Um, I'm going to take everybody here, because we're going to have to leave a lot of people in the garrison in order to deter further uh, sieges. I still haven't been able to find a... Uh, Ransom broker for these prisoners, either. There we go. Any knights? No, no knights. Oh, a thick dress. Probably the only loot we got. Okay, well, seeing as how I've been recording for somewhere in the ballpark of 90 minutes, I'm going to end the episode here and uh, sort the rest of this mess out off camera. I'm going to try to find us a ransom broker. Maybe Fair Market will have one. And we'll come back with uh, potentially the defeat of the Veil. We only have two sieges left. If we're allowed to focus on that, I don't think it'll take us too long at all to do it. However, if we have to keep uh, dealing with stuff like this, it may take us a while. So we'll see. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I had a great time playing some Clash of Kings with you. And I look forward to seeing you guys back here for the next episode.